Right here we have a smartwatch with the most health trackers that I've ever seen on a smartwatch. And the smartwatch that I'm talking about is the Cardena Care Air 2, which you can get for around 320 euros over here in Germany. And today we will check out all the features this watch has to offer. So first up, let's start with the design and the specs. So this watch is available in two different variations. There is this classic round one and you can get a square shaped smartwatch, which kind of reminds me of the Apple Watch. But besides the shapes, these two watches have the same functions and features. So as you can see, I got the all black version, but you can get this one also in the colors of blue and red, but it's actually just the color of the strap that is changing. So the 47mm Cardena Care Air 2 has a 1.42 inch IPS display with a 22mm strap that fits on wrist size between 12 and 26 centimeters. Now the great part is that this watch is compatible with Android smartphones and with iOS devices. You got two physical buttons on the right side of the watch which will either get you to your app menu or over to your blood pressure measurement. But more about this one later on in the video. If you take a look from the side, you see that this watch is fairly chunky with 13 millimeters in size and you see that the screen is totally flat. Now as for the closing mechanism of the straps, you got one of those buckles that you have to press on both sides in order to open this one up and you don't get the normal one from other smartwatches. Like this, it gets a little bit harder to adjust the length of the strap, but you really just have to do it once since it always stays like this until you want to change it again. Now on the plastic backside, you got all of your sensors for your heart rate, your blood oxygen, blood pressure and so on. And I gotta say that this one is overall a pretty smart watch. As for your battery life, this watch lasts for about four to seven days on normal usage. But here it really depends on how often you use your different health trackers. If you use them just once a day, you can probably get away with six to seven days of battery life. But if you use them more, you get less out of this watch. By the way, there is no always in display mode right here and also no battery saving mode. So there's really no way to influence the battery life besides of trimming down the brightness of the screen. Now let's check out the activity tracking and this watch is rather limited when it comes to that. There are only seven sport modes in total. So you got running, cycling, fitness, you got badminton, ping pong, basketball and rope jumping. So no hiking or swimming or other popular sport modes. So it's really not a good selection of sport modes on this watch. Also, if you want to start a workout, the workout display is very basic. You only got the time, your heart rate and your burn calories and that's it. And on top of that, you can't even look at your previous workouts, plus you don't have a built-in GPS. So I would really leave my hands off of this smartwatch when it comes to activity tracking and the sport. All right, when it comes to the health tracking, this watch is great. So you got your normal sleep and your heart rate tracker that will track 24 seven. Plus it will give you alerts whenever you have a very high or a very low heart rate. Then there's also a skin temperature tracker that will give you alerts as well, which is something new to me. Normally it will only track the temperature. The Cardena Care Air 2 also has an ECG function. You just have to put your fingers on the two side buttons right here. And after a few seconds, you get all of your results. But the animations of the graph just looks terrible. Other watches do a much better job on the aesthetics. Now this watch will track your respiration rate. It will count your steps and your SpO2 level. Then there is a blood sugar tracker, blood fat tracker, uric acid, and as well as you got your blood pressure, which is very interesting since you get an extra airbag and a pump to have a very precise blood pressure measurement on your wrist. So really a lot like your normal measurements you would do. The only downside is that none of those features are clinical validated, but there's also no other smartwatch with that many health functions. When it comes to the smart features, this watch really has not too much to offer. But I first wanna start with the OS and the handling of this watch. And this is probably the biggest downside. For a 320 euro smartwatch, you get something that reminds me of a cheap smartwatch that you can get from Amazon. The OS is pretty slow and a bit laggy when you swipe up and down or if you want to open some of your apps. Also, it is actually hard to swipe up and down since there's always a small input delay and just with a small swipe, it scrolls super far and it's hard to get to the right app or to the right sport mode. Also, the looks of it isn't all that good. The icons of the apps look very basic and you really need to know that this one right here is a pure health tracker. Now you do get an alarm. There is a weather app with a weather forecast for the next day and today. There is a music player that only controls the music that you have on your smartphone. So you can skip a track, go back a track, you can adjust the volume and you can play and pause. 
You get all of your notifications like your WhatsApp messages, emails and SMS, but you cannot reply to any of those messages. And the last feature is the watch face. By default, there are three different watch faces that you can use. Plus, there are a few more that you can download from the watch face store in the app, which leads me right to the next negative thing. And that is the app that you need for this watch. It's one of those basic Asian apps with only a few features. The translation is very poor at some points. And overall, I'm really not a big fan of it. And guys, there we have it. That's the Cardena Care Air 2 smartwatch. Now, if you liked that video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more tech reviews. And I guess with that one being said, I will see you in the next one. Peace.